Hello and welcome to Kirby's SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about a SQL Server 2016 feature called Query Store. Query Store is like a flight data recorder for your database. Now how can Query Store help you? Well, have you ever had your system slow down and people around you were waiting for you to fix it? Um, have you ever been asked what exactly happened to the database an hour ago, two hours ago, a day ago? Have you ever been confused about the best way to monitor database performance? Well, with Query Store, we can help. You can get a full history of query execution. You can quickly pinpoint the most expensive queries and deal with them. Um, you can also check for regressed uh, queries, things that have uh, whose performance has degraded. And you can also pick the plan that you like and force that plan. So let's go to SQL Server Management Studio and see how you do this. So we have a database here that doesn't have the query store enabled. So you right click on it, go to properties. Then under query store, you're simply, simply gonna change the operation mode to read write. And then you can also change some of these other parameters including the granularity of the aggregation. So once you're done, you click okay. And then that has enabled query store. So this is a database by database setting, not an instance setting. We're gonna go to a database here where where I've already enabled that. So you go down to the query store option and then there's four different reports. So let's start with the overall resource consumption report. And you can notice here that it shows you day by day uh, the different um, performance charts for duration, CPU, logical reads, execution count. You can also configure this differently. You can look back um, just in the last hour, then it's gonna show you minute by minute so let's go back to the the week view and down on the bottom right we're concerned about logical reads because that's that's a heavy hit on your system when you're reading too much so when you click on that chart you're brought to this other report called top resource consumers and this gives you a view of the different um, queries that have been running and which one is consuming the most resources you can also change the metric up here between cpu time duration execution count etc and then you can um, dive in a little deeper to these, like here we have query ID 581. And when you click on it, you can see the query plan down here, but you notice it's got two different plans, plans 636 and 638. And you can hover over these uh, plans here. This one has an average logical reads of 5,600. And this one down here is only 439 for the logical read. So that's a much better plan. And if you want to compare those plans, just hold down the shift button, click the other plan. Then you can click this button up here to compare the plans. And this is a really great view because it shows you side by side how those plans look. And let's say you decided to um, force a plan. You can easily do that by clicking on the plan, like 636 is what we're gonna wanna force because that's a better plan for this query consuming less resources. And then we simply click the force plan button here It'll just confirm that you want to force that query plan. And then that has been forced for that query. You can also unforce it in this similar way. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to look at the metadata behind these charts. And if you run this SQL query that I'll include in the video notes, uh, it's going to show you the stored procedures and the system views um, so that you, if you want, you can um, run queries directly against these uh, to pull up the data you need. So that is SQL Query Store in a nutshell. I will talk to you soon.